Okay, welcome back. We are looking at some challenging non-calculator questions from GCSE Maths. This one is from June 2022, and it's about indices, and this looks like quite an intimidating question. So we have got to work out the value of this. That doesn't mean simplify it, that means literally just work out what the value is. Obviously, if we had a calculator, it would be very, very easy. Now, I'd say the thing that's the problem in this question is the fact that we have got these mixed fractions here and here. So my first job is going to be to convert these mixed fractions. So I have five and four ninths. Well, that's equivalent to, if you remember, you multiply these and add this, and it will still be as ninths. So five times nine is 45. Add on the four is 49. So it's 49 ninths. And four and two thirds. Again, four times three is the 12. Add on the two is 14. So we get 14 thirds for that part. So I'm going to rewrite this. And we then have 49 over nine to the power of minus a half multiplied by four and two thirds, which we've just said is 14 thirds. And then the part that we've got on the bottom is two to the power of minus three. Well, if you remember two to the power of minus three, we write two to the power of minus three as one over two to the power of three. And 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So we have it being divided by 8 here. Let's just move this so I've got some more space. Now I'm going to try and tackle this part. We have a negative here. We've just said that with a negative, it means to take the reciprocal. So I'm going to take the reciprocal of that fraction and write it as 9 over 49. And now I've dealt with the negative, so it's just the half. And I have the 14 over 3 like this. And I'll keep everything else the same doesn't look that nice with fractions within a fraction, but it is okay. Now to the power of a half, think to yourself, what does that mean? That means to take the square root. So I'll take the square root of the nine, which is the three. I'll take the square root of the 49, which is the seven. And then I've still got my 14 over three, and I have my one over eight here. Now, rather than doing 14 times three and dividing it by 21, I'm wondering if you can spot the shortcut here. The shortcut is that because we have a 3 in the numerator and a 3 in the denominator, we can simply cancel those out. So that all we're left with in the numerator is a 14 divided by 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2. And we have 2 divided by an eighth. Now, I probably would just think to myself, I don't really like doing the other alternative method, which I will still show you. I think I don't like there being a fraction down here. So I'm going to get rid of that fraction by multiplying it by 8. But because I need to keep an equivalent fraction, I'm going to multiply the top by 8 too. So that I end up with a 16 over 1, which gives me my final answer of 16. However, at this stage, you could have done the alternative method, which is that we are doing 2 divided by an 8th. And we know how to do that. We know that you keep the first one, you flip this over to an 8 over 1, and you change it to a multiply. And we still end up with that 16 over 1 which is just 16. So it looks like our answer for this question, maybe not as tricky as some of the other ones in my series so far, but the answer to this question should be 16. Let's see if we've got it right. Yeah, it was question 18, and the answer here was 16, and it was a four marker for this one. So I hope that you found these questions useful. Um, if you have found these useful, I have got videos that cover lots and lots of different tutorials. I've also got some stuff that covers loads and loads of exam questions on everything that has been asked so far. Uh, well, not so far, but in, up to 2021. Um, so hopefully that will help you with some of your revision as you go through year 10 and year 11. Okay, good luck, guys.